now on to the better region, uh, the U.S. South. Uh, the first state we're going to be discussing today is Florida. So Florida has been a pretty big deal this year. They have some strong teams like uh, 3101 Boombots and 4997 Masquerade. Um, and in their so in their recent league champs, Boombots had five matches uh, with their partner Royal Blue, where they got at least 400 points. So uh, we can put up one of their matches right now. This was the second finals match, and it was a score of 422 to 384 with the Red Alliance taking the win. Mm -hmm. So um, in this, you can see four robots. Uh, Royal Blue is in the back. Their auto actually did not work for this match. They were having some connection issues, I believe. And um, our robot is in the lower left corner. Uh, you can't see it right now. But Boombots is in the back doing their double sampling autonomous. So they feature like a pretty uh, typical double it's like two rev linear slides that are able to dump backwards. And uh, it's been really effective in practice they are averaging about 24 minerals and at competitions about 20 to 25. And what actually happened was in the finals match when they got 442 points, they scored 27 minerals. So that was pretty cool. So yeah. Um, my team, Gears of Fire, uh, one thing we really pride ourselves on is the passive systems in the robot. Uh, for example, when we're scoring, we actually have a chain that tightens our, uh, that is connected to a box in our hanging system. And when it tightens, uh, the scoring container flips back and the minerals dump in. Uh, you guys should see it uh, here in just a second, right here. So yeah. Um, yeah, uh, 3101 Boombots has, uh, they've, they uh, actually catted their whole robot first. So it's been a pretty, like, it's been a really effective design from the beginning of the season. And it's been a lot of driver practice all the way through. Um, uh, Royal Blue features, they don't have a sorting system, it's just through driver practice, but uh, 3101 does, and I think that's a big part of like why this alliance was so efficient, is that just the way the robots synergized together was really effective. So, yeah. Yeah, um, I don't really have much to say. It's a pretty cool me, pretty cool robots. Everything seems to just work well. That one robot, uh, 3101, does seem mm -hmm. pretty tall, just in general. It seems like they're quite a lot taller than they actually really need to be, but uh, uh -huh. I guess the extra advantage is always worth it, right? Yep, yep, yep. Um, and then uh, another video that we can play really quick is during one of the qualification matches, 3101 actually tipped over, and as you pointed out, Nathan, like they're uh, pretty tall. And what happened is one of our sister teams, 506, pushed them back over in that match, and we thought that was pretty cool. That is funny. Yeah. And so 3101 is actually also able to flip themselves back up if they do tip over in a match, and they have done this uh, a couple times throughout the season. So it's always a pleasure watching them. That's like um, FRC last year with everyone tipping. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. And so now we can go on to another league in Florida. This is the league that Masquerade and uh, KNO3 are in. And they've been putting up some pretty high scores uh, this season. So um, I don't think the video is working, but we... Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so I guess the video is not working, but um, yeah, this is one of their finals matches. KNO3 has a similar design to us where they have a two-step transfer system and like similar to a lot of other robots. Uh, one interesting thing is they have these what look like two wooden flaps um, in their scoring container, and they actually allow them to, when it's open, only take in silver minerals. So they're one of the robots that uh, sort in the beginning as compared to when they're scoring. And when they push the, when they uh, put the flaps back up, they only take in gold minerals. And so they did this during the match, and I thought that was a very interesting way to sort the minerals. So, yeah. Um, and also, can we get a double cling bling in the chat for 3101? They were the uh, winning alliance captain as well as the first place inspire. So, woo. Yeah, congrats to them. Mm hmm onto Arkansas. Uh, two really big teams have been Lights On and Tech Hogs. Tech Hogs has been a big name uh, for the past couple of seasons, so they are no, uh, no stranger to the FTC world. 
So we're going to have a, a lights on in another show. So uh, I guess we can get more information on them then. They uh, Lights On has been averaging about 300 points per match, and Tech Hogs uh, with about 298 to 300 as well. On to Oklahoma. Oklahoma consists of two really big teams, uh, Lightsabers, 4250, and uh, 113-54, the Midnight Ostrich Runners. And they've put up some plus 300 matches, which is already pretty good. Um, another team in this uh, state is, or in Missouri, actually, is Team Titanium Tech. They uh, are leading the state and the world in OPR, and they're scoring an average of 350 points per match. Uh, this was in early December, so that's very, very impressive. And I was unable to find any, like, videos of their robot. However, if you are from the state or know anything about the competition there, we'd love for you to join our Discord through the link in the chat. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent. Pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now.